and uh, bacon. Um, it was favourite all round, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, the other <laughs> part of the breakfast was these potatoes, and of course, um, we planted the potatoes mm. with uh, kids. This is fried potatoes with a lot of pepper. We were recently in Provence, and she, um, she made the most fantastic fish pie, although she is very fastidious about uh, her mashed potatoes, which go on top. <laughs> she peeled them all. I offered to mash them, and I mashed them until they were, you know, to the naked eye, it looked like as smooth as grout or something. <laughs> but Tam could detect, you know, imperceptible flaws in this, so I had to sort of super mash them. <laughs> I feel terrifically honoured to be involved in their lives and just as have, a family. Have They're them all just as friends. Gorgeous. Lovely. We love them. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's like, um, it's sort of like a Caribbean version of the um, of melon and parma ham, isn't it? Yeah. Now, a little bird told me that you have a little problem with corpsing. Well, the thing is, I work with some really funny people. So, do you know what? I, I, anybody would find it hard. Well, we caught up with one of those people, actually. <laughs> they are such bird. sneaks! <laughs> <laughs> you bet. <laughs> Hello, Tamsin. Welcome. Uh, you join me uh, on the set of Green Wing, the third series of Green Wing. Uh, sorry you weren't asked back <laughs> to do it. <laughs> Tamsin is... Uh, she has odour issues and <laughs> her breath. Uh, um, you couldn't actually get closer than about that. The, 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 she'd strip the enamel off your teeth. When I think about you, Tamsin, I think about you laughing non-stop and I remember especially at the beginning of the second series we did a, uh, a scene in a lift Michelle Gomez dressed as a ham Michelle had to come into the lift and say would anyone like some ham and we <laughs> couldn't and I was guilty as well couldn't keep straight yeah. face everybody happy I'll be a lot happier when I get these things off I trust there have been no breaches in security Everything's under control, Lieutenant. Activation. Would anybody like some ham? So ham. Uh, I know you're quite a strict vegetarian. Uh, the strict vegetarian, the branch of which eats ham. So, um, ham, please. Something interesting and delicious with ham. <laughs> Top man. So you're up for his little challenge, then? I'll make something nice with ham. Watch me. Well, sit, children. Let me give you the subject of the day. So, Stephen Mangum. <laughs> he lies through his teeth. Really, I do like ham, though. Do you ever have pigs in blankets? No. Little pigs. <laughs> Rolled up. Yeah, let's remind ourselves. These are little pigs, aren't it's they? Exactly. <laughs> Rolled up in bacon. OK. And then you put them in the oven and bake them. Right. So actually what happens is the bacon sort of bastes the sausage and it's just lovely. Okay. Think a little bit of olive oil over those, just a tiny bit. Lovely. Then we pop those in the oven. Do you ever put chutney over them? When they're done. Fabulous. Oh. Pop them in. Pop them in. Now we've got leeks. Right. We've got asparagus. Have you ever come across that thing where you've got a vegetable and it's, it's got ham rolled around it and then cheese sauce? Choose your ham. <laughs> Do you mean like lumps like that? Yes. Little, um, it's a parcel. Okay. This is home economics experimentation. And it all crisps up. Ooh. Now, what's your secret of a white sauce then? How do you do a white sauce? I just make sure that the milk is hot. So you put so what's in there first of all? Milk. You've, it's just milk. And you can put bay leaves in, you can put peppercorns in, you can put a bit of onion in. 
Do you do you change your ways about how to make things, or do you just stick with that every five minutes? <laughs> No. So why does my cheese, my white sauce, go lumpy? They all go lumpy. You do just they? have to be really brutal with them and hit them. Keep on. You like hitting mixing. food, don't you? So you'd never leave that sauce now, would you? Probably not, because it's lumpier than it should be. See, if it does go slightly pear-shaped, and you can just whisk the lumps out. There you are. That's gone all creamy now. Yeah, I'm just going to put a tiny bit of cheese in. I like the way you're quite random about, you know, just chuck that in, there's no, yeah, that looks about right. You just get a feeling that you can't quite describe something is going to work together, like ham and cheese. And although they work together, the ham and the leeks and the asparagus, what actually brings them together is the sauce. It's the bonding thing. This is like a proper winter's afternoon dish, isn't it? It's like when you've been out for a walk. But that needs to be toasty. Just put that in the oven until it bakes and starts to bubble. Oh, that looks lovely. Ooh. Ah. Right. For the mangan. There's nothing wrong with ham. There's nothing wrong with ham. Mm -hmm. I don't know what your problem is. Time to look back over Tamsin's life with her final feast. Tamsin Greg, your final feast. This looks like goat's cheese. I do love goat's cheese, especially when you've got bits sort of squeezing out of it. What, oozing? You like oozy food? I do like a bit of like ooze, that. but I like ooze with crunch. Goat's cheese can be grilled or fried, and a perfect companion to this lovely starter is either onion marmalade or just fresh figs. When me and my sister went to America for a little sort of girls road trip uh, uh, when we were younger, we went to one restaurant in LA and they had black and red snapper. And it's your wonderful spice mix that gives this fish dish its crunch. Remember when buying red snapper to look for clear, bright eyes and red skin that fades towards the belly. Always buy fillets with skin on. It holds the fish together when frying. But I am seeing the banoffee pie, so I'm going to ignore that because I will just be... It's not there. It's not there. Are we going to try that? Yep, the king of desserts, banoffee pie, christened with a name that comes from its combination of banana and toffee. My base is with crushed biscuits, but you can use pastry. Put simply, Eating this beast in one sitting really should come with quite a severe health warning. So, is there anything that you would maybe wish for, if you had one wish for your, at your final feast? It'd be nice to, um, to have a meal with mum and dad, with the children there, because my mum would be the only one who could teach my children how to use a knife and fork. What sort of day have you had today? Oh, this has been a lovely day. I always thought I wasn't really interested in food, but I think you... <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I was like, yeah, you know what I mean? Take it or leave it, really. Thanks and Greg, thank you so much for being a guest on A Taste of My Life. Thank you very, very much for having me on and leading me. I've, I feel all heady. No, Bless you. Thank you. On BBC One now, your big day needn't cost big bucks. It's the one show. A taste of stewed beaver here on BBC Two. I think I'll stick with my donuts. While a car fanatic 17 grand in debt finally puts his foot down. Spendaholics on BBC Three. I kept trying to shove my tongue in her ear. It's not something I'm proud of now, looking back, but if you, if you get close to her ear, you'll know <laughs> how irresistible it is. Plastic could do with a little clean. <laughs>